Hello and welcome to Just Poops. The offseason is here and it's time for players to get better. So in this video, we're going to dive into Donovan Mitchell and his ability to finish at the rim. Donovan Mitchell last year had a terrific season, 26.6 points per game, went up to 29 during the playoffs, 5 rebounds, 6 assists, 46, 37, 86 shooting splits, nearly 60% true shooting. But the bulk of this video is about him finishing at the rim. 27% of his field goal attempts came at the rim, 67% shooting at the rim, and in the playoffs he shot 30% of his field goal attempts at the rim and 66% from that area of the floor. In this video, we're going to dive into the skills that make him so successful as a small guard finishing at the rim. This first bunch of clips we're going to talk about efficiency, playing low, and his eyes. It all starts here with the change of direction in which Donovan Mitchell gets very low to the ground attacking the hip of his defender Jalen Brown. That allows him to get by his defender, be efficient with his bounces, and then the finish, you can see his eyes find the rim, allowing him to extend and finish the play. Here in this clip here, he changes again using an in and out. Look at how he's so low to the ground, attacking the hip, and that depth and playing low allows him to find balance. His eyes find the rim, and he's able to finish the lay with the scoop. Here in transition, you can see the efficiency factor. The in and out, one bounce, pick up, and he's able to get to the rim. Eyes find the rim again, but that efficiency factor allows him to get there successfully. Here, he attacks the hip, is very low, explodes up toward the rim, looking like he's about to dunk on the defender, but his eyes allow him to finish that tough play through the contact. This clip is not an example of efficiency due to the amount of bounces, but look at how low he plays. His hips are low to the ground, he's on balance and under control. Even while losing the ball, he has balance at the rim, but his eyes allow him to finish that play through the trees. His eyes are up toward the backboard, allowing him to extend with great touch and finish that play. Here, he gets by his initial defender, is low at the hip, and is able to extend through the rim. Look at his eyes looking at the target, allowing him to finish that play over the big man. We're going to talk about changing direction, blocking off the defense, and his eyes again. Here, Donovan Mitchell changes direction. His hips are low, never rise. His shoulder is driven into his defender, and his eyes are up on the goal as he gathers to finish the play, extending towards the rim, maintaining that shoulder contact to prevent his defender of making a play on the ball. Here, we can see a lot of the same things. He changes direction at the point of the screen, attacking his defender downhill, low hips playing very low to the ground with a low center of gravity, attacking the hip of his defender, using his shoulder to block the defender off, and having his eyes up on the goal, allowing him to finish the play even with a contest from behind. This next clip here, you can see he gets the catch, he has the defender behind him, look at how he's changing his pace to keep his defender behind him, has a new defender peel onto him, attacking the outside hip, uses his shoulder, and extends up through the rim with his eyes on the target. Here, Donovan Mitchell uses a bump against a bigger defender to create space and block them off from making a play. As he gets downhill, his shoulder and hip is dro driven into the individual defender, bumping him off, and his eyes find the target, allowing him to finish with the scoop. Here, we're going to get a change of direction, coming downhill at the outside hip of the defender, opening the defender's hips, look at how low Donovan Mitchell plays, keeping his shoulder and back where his defender is, his eyes find the target and finishes with a tough left hand lay. This segment here after the switch shows how the shoulder contact keeps his defender on his side, blocking him off from blocking the play, his eyes find the rim early, and the quick finish allows him to make a play. And here, even when the change of direction is a little chaotic, he plays low to the ground on this spin, his eyes find the target as soon as he picks up the ball, as you can see, allowing him to finish a really tough play right there. And then scoring versus bigs is the last segment of this video. Look as he gets downhill, attacking the big man's body, preventing him from making a play. Attacking the body of a defender is a major reason why Donovan Mitchell was able to finish a lot of these plays. You can see it consistently using his shoulder as a point of contact into the chest of a defender. Then he plays low enough to find balance. And then as we've talked about all video long, his eyes go up, find the target, allowing him to finish with great touch and find angles off the backboard to make these plays. And this last play here against Jonathan Isaac, the shoulder drives Jonathan Isaac away from the play toward the midline, allowing him to extend back and finish. Donovan Mitchell is one of the best scoring guards in the NBA and one of the best finishing guards in the NBA. The way he's able to first create his advantage at the first level, maintain it at the second level, and be able to finish these plays at the third level is incredible. I hope this video showed you the details that go into being such an elite finisher. For more content like this, please like, subscribe, and share, and we'll catch you in the next one.